Hanging on desperately, these were the scenes across New Zealand's Canterbury region as widespread flooding forced hundreds from their homes. This man, saved by a rescue helicopter as onlookers watched on. A state of emergency declaration was made on Sunday as more than 400 millimetres of rain fell on the eastern parts of the South Island. Well, I went to bed about 10 o'clock last night and it was not a sign of the river. Get up at 6 o'clock this morning and it's gone. <laughs> Half the farm's underwater. It's been described as a once in a century downpour. The town of Akaroa received more rain in the last two days than came down in the almost five months leading up to this flood. Prime Minister Scott Morrison was visiting counterpart Jacinda Ardern for bilateral meetings as evacuations took place. Australia is no stranger to floods or fires mm. or cyclones or indeed even mouse plagues. Um, we have, as both countries, endured a, a a large amount of challenge over the course, particularly of these last few years. Some communities were issued notices to boil their drinking water amid severe resource shortages. The heavy rain eased on Monday afternoon, allowing residents to assess the damage. I'm not good. This is about the third time it's happened to me. So, yeah, yeah, it's a bit trying, yeah. Around 75 schools, several office buildings and major roadways remain closed as rivers around Christchurch struggle to contain the rising tide. A flooded treatment pond in the town of Ashburton contaminated downstream flows where locals were told to avoid all contact with the flood water. As authorities scramble to safeguard more towns under threat. Tyson Whelan, ABC News.